be back, they'll be yep. unimpressed, and there's a little bit of afters. Peter O'Mahony, Alan Wynne Jones in there. They finished it. I'm not sure they started it. Some great eyes and faces there, aren't there? Oh, look at that. Stop. They'll know each other pretty well from the Lions tour, but Alan Wynne Jones doesn't look happy about something there. Hey, but I didn't see who put it there. You don't start no piss off. Ashton Hewitt spins. Leave it, leave it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ed Ogbo with the tackle. Peter O'Mahony and Team Basham. Falling out, seven against seven. More than a hit to the smile from Peter O'Mahony. He knows the old blacks are rattled here. It's a way of life, isn't it? And the thousands that have turned up here to watch their men in red will be absolutely delighted that they get the first penalty at scrum time. Says so much more, doesn't it? To Corey and Omani. To Ireland and Omani and Sinclair. Have a little word. For the people of Christchurch, we're really moved by walking around the city. And that is a big scrum from the Chris. Oh, it's all out of the front row. Oh, there's nothing like a big push at scrum time to spark up Royal Rumble. And it's happened here. Oh, Justin, Canterbury and Lions front rows. They love it, don't they? <laughs> I think Sam Whitelock's right at the bottom of all that. There he is. Sam Grove White Dan says that most are off their feet, part of penalty. And it's not an end of season dead rubber, Barry, is it? There's Peter O'Mahony straight about his business and a, a little bit of a, a fracker. Which against Samoa. Oops. Tom. Oops, are we looking at a little. Off. Dump tackle. Hey, six, 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 six. That's you, hey, people are It wasn't him. It wasn't, it wasn't him. It's fucking dangerous. It wasn't him. Bullshit. It wasn't him, mate. To be able to regroup. Side entry, call against Manchester. Hey. The pace leave remains it, frenetic. It, it. And it. the passion obvious. Leave it. <laughs> Not often you see France Malherbe getting involved there. It's often a boil over the fact in these back to back fixtures, grievances from week one continue into week two. And maybe there's an example of that right there. But how serious is all that? That's the key. And is there any reason for an escalation? With any great sense of purpose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scumbag, hey. you know exactly what hey. you're doing. Up and away. He knows exactly what he's doing. Come back, sir. Oh, yeah. Up and away. Man yourself. Up and away. Oh, some anger in there. And the referee needs to sort that out. That's very unlike you. Yeah, that might be a penalty for a late tackle. I think Ali could well be as it's getting a bit fractious amongst the players. Amani in the thick of it. Right in there, getting up close and personal to Jacques Berger. Beautiful, started with a beautiful piece of skill. We've got oh, we didn't run, but we're going to let that kind of pitch and shift with the nine play the ball off. I, I, that wasn't what the penalty was for, right? So we, right, stop now. And it's on amongst the forwards. Well, a lot of pushing and shoving. Ha, 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 ha.
Little scuffle with O'Mahony. Campbell joining in, Peter O'Mahony has got Phillips with him. Oh, he's dropped it and knocked it on. And he's uh, furious with himself, Peter O'Mahony. It's all threatening to boil over as he gets involved with Jacopo Trula. Here we go. That's it. And just a little pat on the backside, and Trula decided he wasn't going to take a backward step. Penalty Ireland. Wales not rolling away. And Phillips and O'Mahony continue at each other. Here. Now, this is unacceptable, in my opinion. Yeah. And Peter Marnie is captain of the side, and setting a pretty average example at this point. And we're going to anybody else? Answer from Williams as the players have a little bit of afters, and O'Mahony and Adam Wynne Jones are just checking to see if everybody's okay to go to the changing room. I think. Shenanigans going on right on the far side. We've spoken about in the build-up that there's always a little bit of needle between these two teams, and it's a little more than handbags inside the opening 90 seconds here as both sets of players get heavily involved over on that far side. Liam Tolan, good evening. That's a very technical term, a little bit more than handbags. Uh. There we go. 17 time playing in Europe, and they've generally been pretty feisty affairs. No punches thrown out, so. They always are you. It's, it's, it's actually remarkable how just between two teams there can be such niggle. Out of there. Seven leave. All a little unsavory very early in the game. Yeah. Well, it's not quite finished just yet, and it flares up again, and the advertising hoardings are being tested over on that far side. and. There's a couple of little pockets leave away it, to the left it. still going as well. Boys, leave. Yeah, it's a proper, proper Irish Interpro. Um, leave it, five up. Side, no advantage accruing. And then there's a little bit of afters as Gethin Jenkins and Rob Carney have a little look at each other. Okay, there's a little bit of um, McKeown looked like he was pulling the, okay. the Legos. Sorry. Well, man, he the the start and, uh, the the afters was a man in his shirt, collar pulling him to the deck. Okay, okay so certainly this is that's in. Okay. That's taking Team the law to your own hands, isn't it, Connor? Yes, it is. What is uh, it's nothing in it, but at the same time, it does force a decision right. from.